day since I got the fresh raw milk from the Amish and I've got about two, two quarts left from the butter making and this is my buttermilk. I left it out on the counter for a little more than 24 hours and now I'm going to make Amish buttermilk cheese. So it calls for half a gallon and that's two quarts. So I've got my thermometer here on my cheese and yogurt making pot and I need to slowly heat this up to 160. Gotta scrape out all that good bits left in there. So it's soured just a little bit and this is my first time doing this, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, let's turn it on the heat here. supposed to stir it very much. The recipe says that um, half gallon of fresh, not cultured, raw buttermilk, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two and a half teaspoons of butter melted, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to let the buttermilk sit at room temperature 12 to 24 hours or overnight and try not to disturb the milk while it cultures and pour the cultured buttermilk into your cheese pot and heat slowly to 160 degrees. Do not stir too much while it heats. So we'll see how it turns out. I'll keep you posted. So the, um, the raw buttermilk heated up to 160 and it did turn to curds and whey. So now I am going to put it through a strainer and a cheesecloth. drip and separate all that whey from the curd and I'll show you what that looks like in the sink. All right so here is how I am draining. I'm, I just hooked the bag on a coffee mug hook and it just touches the sink right there in this sink basket and I'll just let it continue to drain until it's not dripping anymore and then I'll, I'll continue with the recipe. I'll keep you posted. Well the curds and the whey have been separated and I went ahead and took out the curds from the fresh buttermilk that I made with my butter the other day. This is my butter. What I need to do is add a half a teaspoon of baking soda to this mixture of just curds. So, gotta get it straight here. Get it level. And the recipe says to mix it in 
Mix it in well and then let it sit for 10 minutes. So I'm going to mix it in a little well here. It smells very sweet, a little bit tangy. And I also have a double boiler going here because after this sits for 10 minutes, I'm going to add melted butter. I've got two and a half tablespoons of melted butter from the butter that I made from the fresh milk the other day. And I will add that to the, the curds and mix it up in here. And then everything goes into the double boiler to melt. And I will show you that process. So this has got to sit for 10 minutes and then I'll come back. It's been 10 minutes since the baking powder, rather baking soda, was put into the curd mixture here. And now I've melted the butter that I made the other day and then I'm going to pour it in here and make sure I get it all incorporated. I've been melting the cheese now and it just doesn't seem to be melting down any further. Kind of looks like grits. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in some jars that I have here. So we'll see how many little jars I can fill. So I filled two of these little, I guess these are just tiny little quarter pint jars maybe. And I'll put these in the refrigerator, get them all chilled, and I'll make some bread and try that on bread. So there you go. That is buttermilk cheese. <laughs> 